Hey guys, Jason, ManufacturedHomes.com. You guys are chasing homes with us, and we are in Stone Mountain, Georgia, Seiko 22. We're taking a look at some awesome homes. We have got a brand new jewel from Cavco behind us here. We're gonna jump inside and take a look. We have got the man back there. He's gonna give us a tour. Will knows everything there is to know about this home. We're gonna pop inside and see what secrets this one holds. You guys come join us. All right. Will, how's it going today, man? It's going good, how are you? Pretty good. Welcome to our new house here. Tell uh, us what we've got. We have a 1676. This is being built out of our Cavco plant in Hamlet, North Carolina. Uh, it's a brand new product line that uh, literally we were just launching. Um, something that we hope to take to other plants across the country in time. Uh, but this is a 1676 uh, priced at 41.5, uh, just the way that you see it sitting here today. Uh, nice open floor plan, big wide open space here, plenty of room for, for any entertaining, family time, dinner time. Uh, we got a nice separate tub and shower back here in the back. Uh, in the master bath, you got two bedrooms on the other end. This thing is built to last. We've got two by eight floor joists, uh, 16 inch on center throughout this thing. Uh, dishwasher is standard. Uh, you got your cold top range. Uh, we got uh, our refrigerator. Um, again, price to sell, great value. Um, so if you're welcome to look around. We appreciate you coming by. 1676, Will, man, this thing looks huge. Mungus. You'd be amazed at how many people have walked in here this week and thought it was an 18 wide. Um, the open concept, uh, nice open big windows, uh, makes it feel much bigger, bigger than what it actually is. You know, that's one of the things that I really like seeing with modern manufactured housing is the fact that we do see so much more of the open concept living plan. I like it because the kids can hang out in here. Mom and dad can be fixing supper. Little Susie can be over here doing her homework. And the family's all doing their own thing, but they still stay connected. And I think with our busy lifestyles and the things that we have going on and the pressures and stuff that kids are on, family time is, it means more now than it ever has. Absolutely, we're, we're all so busy during the day trying to get through our hustle and bustle of what we do to provide for our families and to be able to come home to a place like this where you can have everybody together, have everything done right here in one open space is, is something that we, we love seeing and, and that's why we built it this way. Well, kitchens and master baths and bedrooms are what people want to see, so let's let's press on in. Take a look, big master bedroom. Obviously we got a queen size bed in here. Uh, plenty of room for any, any real furniture that you'd like to have. Um, as you can see, we come through here, go into the master. Uh, we've got uh, master bath, separate tub, shower, big walk-in closet. Uh, plenty of lighting. Uh, you could put a king size bed in here, no problem, if that's what the customer prefers, the size of queen. Uh, but this end of the house, uh, obviously the bathroom, the separate tub and shower, great selling features uh, for big families. Plenty of place for the kids to get in the tub, have a good time, uh, and then obviously ample storage space and stuff uh, for you to store all your stuff uh, here in the back end of this house. Oh man, this, this thing's got the we got the soaker tub going on in yes, here. Sir. Yes, sir. Oh man, you know, and this is something that I see happening more and more in, in floor plans. And that is to have your closet space without doors. And people think, okay, so why is that a big deal? You've got to compromise floor space. You've got to have a place for that door to swing open. And so if you don't compromise that floor space, you can have, well, you can just have a bigger closet. And this thing right here has got a super nice, I guess I would call this a semi walk-in closet. Yeah. But this is super nice. I really like, um, I'm guessing this is vinyl clad gypsum. Yes, sir. Sure is. All the way throughout. Uh, we've simplified things for this product line. It's one color. Uh, what you see is what you get. Um, we do have some exterior color options and some things that you can do out there. Uh, but for this price point and what we're doing with this line of houses, we've kind of stuck with just the plain one color uh, selection. Uh, makes it easier for the seller's side. Uh, no confusions. We don't, nobody's messing up on ordering. Keep uh, it simple. And the way we have a price, I think it's going to work. So That's awesome. And you know, I think a lot of times when we look at, uh, especially with the emerging millennial market and stuff like that, people are looking for a bit more simplicity. They, you know, a lot of times, if you're just looking for something from a, from a utility perspective, um, 
you know, more options are not necessarily the best thing every time. Yeah, sometimes, you know, when you go on those sales centers and the more options you have, typically we get customers that are confused. They're, they've walked 15, 20 houses that each house has different options, which you can and can't do. Uh, so this being simple, uh, we think we're going to hit a lot of customers and a lot of people that uh, couldn't necessarily afford those higher end houses. Uh, and that's kind of our goal moving forward. You know, with the economy and things that, that so we're seeing some unprecedented things go on. Yes. And I think affordable housing means more today or it means some different things today than maybe what we've seen in recent years and i just appreciate the fact that companies like cavco are getting into that everybody love i mean come on man who doesn't love to go tour a big giant triple wide with a full tile walk-in shower and the solid surface countertops and all those great options that are available but at the end of the day you know we have a segment of this market that needs price point homes and when we talk about this is, i mean i can't get over it. this is a single wide home and it's just like i mean there's i don't i don't know if it's the color i don't know what it is you guys have got going on in here but this space seems it seems extremely big. I, w I would have guessed that this would have been an 18 if i had just come we, in by myself we can't put our finger on it i, <laughs> I tell you we, we've had so many people come through this house in the last couple of days and tell us that exact same thing uh, so, so for me, great job to our, our, our design team and, and our engineering team that put this thing together and, and, and made it what it was. All right. I'm going to sneak back here and see what we've got. Let's see. Obviously, we've got the switch pile. I'm guessing this one comes with 100 amp. Yes, sir. We've got uh, everything is electric. Uh, we do have a couple options in this product line where we're doing uh, gas. Uh, we have some wind zone stuff for your coastal uh uh locations um so uh this is your middle bedroom uh we've got our fleetwood uh plant out of douglas uh presenting some of their stuff in here uh and then we have our lafayette plant uh out of tennessee as well as our rocky mountain plant out of virginia uh that also has some community stuff as well as retail stuff uh so they put their stuff in here so that they can showcase uh some of their community homes as well and we were talking earlier, you and I, and you were telling me that this is the first home that's coming out of a new factory. And, and I want to point out to people the importance of brand durability. Cavco's been around for 100 years, okay? They're not going anywhere, okay? So when you talk about looking at making a brand choice, one of the things that I always encourage people to, to consider is, where's this company going to be tomorrow, okay? And, and I, I may be stepping way outside bounds here, but I don't think Cavco's going anywhere. <laughs> no, we're not. And if anything, we're looking to expand um, in even more markets. Uh, we look at the retail side. Obviously, there's, there's opportunities there uh, that we hope uh, to open some, some retail locations along with these factories. So we're going to be around a while. Uh, I do appreciate, obviously, you know, manufacturedhomes.com uh, for coming by. We appreciate... Uh, uh, the publicity that we're going to get off this thing and, and uh, hopefully everybody can come by and check us out. Man, we appreciate, we appreciate you taking your time to give us a tour of this, man. You guys are knocking out some great products. We're going to ease on in, see what else this show's got to offer, man. You guys have a great day. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot to Will with Cavco, man. He gave us a great tour of this 16 wide, I can't believe that, single wide home. We're going to sneak around, take a couple of shots of the outside because I know you guys like to see some of the various things that are going on. But really quickly, if you like the content that you see from this channel, do me a huge favor. Do yourself a huge favor. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you know when we're putting out new content. And hey, drop a comment below. Let us know. What do you think about this, man? What do you think about the homes that we have been showing at the, sh at the show? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, we're going to sneak around this one. You let me know what you want to see, and I'll travel all over the United States to help bring you that quality content so let's let's sneak around my flip we're gonna flip hold on there we go let's see what we got here vinyl dutch lap siding pretty much a standard on a home like this especially a price point home um, you know I, I enjoy showing you guys uh, the single wides I know that the the big doubles the the uh, the flashy homes I know that those are things that people like to see but i also know that you guys like to see single wides too um these are going to be low e glass vinyl clad aluminum windows pretty standard stuff that's going to help you uh as a homeowner 
It's going to help you by lowering that electric bill. Those heating and cooling costs are going to be lower on that. Sneaking back here, guys, um, pretty much standard nine light door on the utility room. Obviously, the vent for the dryer is here. Got an outside faucet. You know, pretty much standard what you would expect to see on the back side of a single wide. We're going to keep pressing on into the show, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe, do so, because we're going to check out a bunch more of these houses. I'm going to flip this around one more time. There we go. Hey, guys, I'm Jason Collins, manufacturedhomes.com. Ooh, that sun's bright. We're chasing homes. We're making sure we're bringing you the content you want to see. We're going to press on, take a look at a couple more things. We'll see you next time.